Ladies and gentlemen, meet the world's first steer-by-wire sports coupe. It's the Infiniti Q60 Red Sport all-wheel drive. That's a mouthful, but here's a bigger one. It has DAS, Direct Adaptive Steering. What does that mean? Well, it means that there's no direct connection from the steering wheel to the front wheels. And coming up next, Nathan and I are going to discuss that and find out how fast it is from 0 to 60. cars used to have a direct connection from the steering wheel to the wheel so there was a rod that went as you know from yeah to, to, a, rack to a steering rack and yeah. then then you turn the wheels this you turn the wheel this much and then the steer and then the wheels would turn right, right the same amount now that rack is still here and that rod is still here but it's not connected it's steer by wire you can change how much of an input this actually controls to how much the wheels turn okay uh, what that, about, so what about feel well it feels not there uh. That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, okay. But be between this and between the suspension settings and the throttle settings, you have 336 individualized different modes that you can potentially have this car in. Yay, that's <laughs> awesome. That's terrific. So what's the benefit of removing the connection from the steering wheel to the front wheels? Well, if you're a company like Infinity, it means you could put the steering wheel on the left side or on the right side, depending on what country this car is sold. Heck, you could put it in the trunk if you wanted. By the way, there is still a direct connection from the steering wheel in this car, but they keep it there only in the case of an emergency or a system failure. Okay, so you tell me right now as you're driving it, you've been through this track a million times. Right. What are you feeling through the steering wheel? Uh, I would say I'm feeling very little, if anything. Is there any resistance at all? Uh, I'm trying to feel the resistance and I'm really having a hard time. It just feels like I'm moving. You know what it feels like? It feels like a PlayStation. So so the PlayStation steering thing where, yeah. yeah. Except you don't get that kind of vibration. <laughs> when, when something goes wrong, you don't feel it. Hey, Nathan, you know what we're missing? Uh, manual transmission? No, we're missing a race car driver. We don't have, at least I don't have the skill set to really ring this out. Yeah, you know, Paul really would be able to tear this thing around the track and get the feel for it, but I also think that he would really hate the steering. We'll have to wait and see, because I'm curious to see what he says. But this is also known as a sports car. I mean, come on, it's got 400 horsepower. Yeah. There's no, I mean, feel, there's no feel coming through the steering wheel. Normally when you do that, right, you can feel the jitter, you can feel the loss of grip in the Some tires. Some build up in the steering yeah. system too, right? It's so not there, man. It's, it's just turn and then that's it. And the turn. car just goes, yeah. You right. can feel more with your butt than you can through your hands. Other benefits of DAS, of course, is weight savings, better fuel economy, noise, vibration, and harshness not feeding through the steering wheel, and of course, it's pretty much ready for an autonomous world, and that that is somewhat terrifying. You know what scares me the most about this system, though? Last year, some hackers hacked the Jeep's brakes, Yeah. right? Now, if I have no connection from here to the wheels, why can't somebody hack this car and just basically and say just it. drive me <laughs> wherever they want to drive me? And I, just a passenger at some point. Yeah, yeah, that's That's true. terrifying, dude. That, that, that is, that's a horrible notion. And it, it but it, it's the reality we live in now, too, right? stuff like that can happen well because they're getting ready to build autonomous cars so obviously if you have let's say a lane keep system where it keeps you in the lanes mm -hmm. then it's better to have a system where you don't have a direct connection between the steering wheels and between the steering wheel and the wheels I suppose so but it just does, it's it doesn't I don't and know, let's I, face it on planes fly-by-wire you know, has been around for decades. Yeah, yeah, it has. But then planes, of course, aren't tethered to the ground like a car is. No, and also you're not trying to get a return on your Let's try it again. Feel. Yeah, try this again. Oh, nope, nope, it again. Nope, nothing coming through the wheel, dude. I can't feel a shutter. I can't feel anything. Now this is a 3-liter twin-turbocharged V6 that produces 400 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque. It's channeled through a 7-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters to all four wheels. And combined MPG, not bad for 400 horsepower, 21 MPG. Let's see, make sure I'm in the Dynamic Sports Plus mode. I am. 
So far, the fastest way has been to rev it up to about 3,000 RPM and let it rip. Here we go. Uh, 27. Five point six one. That's not bad. It is impossible to deny the fact that Infinity really has their stuff together when it comes to design on this Q60. I mean, just look at it. It's long and elegant. They've actually managed to take a car that I never thought was particularly attractive. I always felt like it was too squished together and they stretched it out and they've made it graceful and just simply beautiful. You don't need any wings or any other silliness to make this car look better. It just looks fantastic. And up close and in person, it looks even better than on film. So this system cost a thousand dollars. It's an option. That's weird. DAS, thousand dollars. I don't see why you'd want that. I guess uh, the take rate on this is close to 30 to 40 percent so people are buying it so nathan if it were your money would you spend a thousand bucks for the steering system you know everything about this car is really awesome except for that system i just don't see the reason for spending a thousand bucks yeah and the good news is you could just not get it <laughs> and then you get a really good looking car that's really fast in a straight line right yeah and all-wheel drive and twin turbocharged yeah what more could you want as always this is roman and nathan saying thanks for watching and check out the fast lane car for more news views and real world reviews and by the way if you guys want to see other cool reviews just click here for a video and down down there subscribe